Hey guys, what's up? Nick here from Top Motions and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today, we will be learning how to create this cool logo with some basic basic steps in Illustrator. It's pretty easy and it's a very useful tutorial. And it's gonna be a really short tutorial, some quick tips and I guarantee you that you will be able to create this logo in just 5 minutes or maybe, or maybe less than it. So let's just get started. So here I am in a new artboard. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a ellipse from the center. I'll just change the color pretty quick. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle from a center right here. Select the color, change the color so that you know what's happening right there. And I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and drag this to the side right there now for the tutorial sake i'm gonna create one more strip right there to make it look more precise and more professional type you know and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to pathfinder and i'm gonna select the option minus front go to effect 3d extrude bevel select the preview option then go right here i'm gonna keep it 120 and change the first this and first of all I'm gonna combine or unite shapes so let's just unite it by selecting right here unite it select right here unite it right here and unite it then I'm gonna select this and I again and select this color right here let's just make some changes yep you can see it looks pretty cool I'm gonna select this and I and select this color change up right there good right there yep and the same thing right here looks good now it looks pretty intense so let's just make it let's just make some adjustments actually pretty quick I'm gonna go right here just a little bit shade right there looks good I don't want it to look pretty harsh you know so just make some little adjustments maybe right here looks good same thing with here so you can see with some pretty quickly you can make some cool logos 3d logos you know it's pretty pretty easy to make and now to give some more detail what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the pen tool right here and I'm gonna click right there and maybe let's see there and just stretch it up like this then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select it unfill and make this white now increase this to maybe two points and make this right so this gives a little bit shiny effect right here select the pen too I'm gonna do the same thing right here select it And just the same process, you know. This cool little shine right here. Just zoom in it so you can see. Hold Alt, duplicate it. Make it right there. Hold Alt, duplicate it. Make it right there. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna keep it to this view and make it 1%. Yep, looks good. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this logo hit ctrl g to group it up and let's just make it a little bit smaller right here 
looks good hold alt or maybe what we can do is right click go to transform and go to reflect may I reflect it horizontally yes and make a copy right here hold shift and drag it up right there then what I'm gonna do is let's just bring this a little bit down yeah let's just create a square pretty quick change the color so that we can see just randomly I'll draw a square and then I'll go to gradient and select the white and black gradient and I'm gonna change the direction so I'll just keep it right there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this both layers and go to transparency click right here and make opacity mask so it creates this cool reflection now you can see the reflection is pretty intense so I'm gonna control Z and I'm gonna select this and pretty quickly make some adjustments you have this looks good and do the same thing right here yep looks good now you can go right there and decrease the opacity to maybe 50% so it creates a smooth reflection then one more thing what we can do is I'm gonna create a simple background pretty quick so I'm gonna select this rectangle tool and just draw square and I'm gonna make this a radial yep maybe right there and I'm gonna put it at the back so arrange and back and I'm gonna zoom it out and select this gradient too and just drag this out yep looks pretty good so we are done so I hope you learned something new today and thanks for watching guys